All right, y'all, today I'm going to teach you how to make Texas hash. Welcome to the southern side of TikTok, y'all. So right here, I have a package of ground turkey, because it's healthier for you, and a half a package of Jimmy Dane sausage, you guys. Uh, I prefer the hot one, but they didn't have it in stock, so we settled for the original, but we're going to put tons of spices in there. And then you want to go ahead and mix it together on medium heat until it's getting brown. All right, I have half of a white onion, half of a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and just a little smidgen of poblano peppers, you guys. So chop that up into dice form and let's put it in the meat. All right, I added just a little bit more of the poblano peppers. All right, that's looking good. Let it saute. While it's doing that, we're gonna get our oven ready. So let's turn on the oven to bake. All right, let's turn it up to 375. Let that heat up. <laughs> You're cute, give me a little dance. Go on the line. Okay, we believe you. <laughs> Rock your boots a little higher. <laughs> All right, while that is cooking, let's go ahead and open up our cans and we're gonna get rid of half the juice in each one of these cans. Really? Huh. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Our can of corn. This is the whole kernel sweet corn. All right, now one teaspoon of tomato paste. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Just a dash of Cajun. Now these spices are gonna be to your liking. And make sure you're tasting as you go. A dash of cumin. A little splish splash. I was in the bath of ginger. And then this Kinder's wood fired garlic is one of Kneebone's favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of this. Actually, I'm going to use quite a bit. Who, who we can? Let's go in with that. Let's go ham. All right, we're going to mix all that together. My gosh, you guys, it smells amazing already. It smells amazing in this house. And some Worcestershire. Boop, boop. All right, some chili. Just a little bit. Because we put a lot of the uh, wood fire garlic, and that's pretty strong. All right, time for a little taste test. Bubba, mm -hmm. do the honors. That's amazing. It's got <laughs> the perfect flavors, the spices. Really? It's amazing. Yeah. Yay! Thank you, baby. That makes me so happy. I'm gonna go with basmati rice. I love this rice. It tastes over so freaking good. All right, we're gonna go in with a whole cup. That's half a cup, and one more half a cup for a whole cup of rice. Now let's mix that. and just a third of a cup of water, just to make sure it doesn't burn. Look at this juiciness. All right, we're gonna put a lid on her, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for 35 minutes. 35 to 45 minutes, it's up to you, but you just wanna make sure that the rice is nice and cooked. Woo wee, look at that, y'all. All right, let's add some cheese. Okay, I'm using sharp cheddar. And we're putting it all over, yes. Mm -hmm. You want it nice and covered. The more cheese, the better. Pretty much the whole bag. <laughs> Yummy. All right, let's put it back in the oven uncovered for about 10 minutes. Or until the cheese melts, so keep an eye on it. All right, guys, check it out. Please be careful, it's gonna be very, very hot. It's gonna be very toasty, very hot, so please use a mitten and be careful. Okay. And that's it, let's scoop it onto the plates and serve with your side of choice. We're gonna use cornbread, y'all.
I mean, you guys, and that's it. This is my Texas hash, y'all. And there's a couple ways to make it, but this is just how we make it. And you can put some cornbread on there, a little bit of cilantro, and that's it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Do something that makes you smile today, like eat some Texas hash. <laughs> Bye, guys.